Tonight, we're examining enrollment at the University of Rhode Island. We've learned some of, we've learned more and more out-of-state students are attending the state's flagship school, and the percentage of in-state students has seen a significant drop. We wanted to know why and what it means for the state as Rhode Island tries to attract more college grads to boost its economy. Kelly Sullivan has the details in a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The numbers are clear. With each passing year, the University of Rhode Island is made up less and less of Rhode Islanders. We reviewed 10 years of enrollment data for state colleges and universities across New England. The number of out-of-state students is up at every school we checked, but URI has seen one of the biggest increases. Take a look. In 2006, 61% of undergrads were in-state students. 39% were from out-of-state. Fast forward to 2016, and those numbers shift to 56% in-state and 44% out-of-state. Here's how that stacks up with other flagship state schools. UMass Amherst comes in at 23% out-of-state students. UConn also checks in at 23%, the University of Maine 31%. At the top of the list, the University of New Hampshire at 54% out-of-state students. We take our access mission very seriously. I talked with Dr. Dean LaBeauty, URI's Vice Provost for Enrollment Management, to find out what's behind the increase. One thing we're experiencing in Rhode Island over the past several years is a decline in the number of traditional high school students graduating. That means a shrinking pool of in-state candidates. LaBeauty tells me URI gets about 22,000 applications every year, and only a fraction of those are Rhode Islanders. While I'd love to get every high school graduate applying to the University of Rhode Island, the reality is we get about 4,000 of those who graduate. Are there different standards for accepting in-state, out-of-state, or are they all the same? No, all of our standards actually are the same. Make no mistake, out-of-state students are big business for the school, with an annual tuition of more than $28,000. That's more than double the in-state rate of about 13000 do you see where some people might think that, you know, URI is just going after more out-of-state students for I, the money? I can, but we admit the same number of percentage of students in-state as we do out-of-state. We checked, and in each of the past two years, URI has admitted the exact same percentage of in-state and out-of-state applicants. When it comes to our um, competitive programs, whether it be nursing and pharmacy and engineering and others, we actually first read our Rhode Islanders because we understand that the important access mission that we have is a state university. So we don't look and say, gee, we're going to admit this out of state or over Rhode Islander. No, New England state has a law requiring public colleges and universities to accept a certain percentage of in-state students. Now coming up new at six, how URI has changed its recruiting practices to combat a shrinking number of local high school graduates. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. New details now in a story you saw only on Eyewitness News. We're examining enrollment at the University of Rhode Island. Live at 5, we told you the percentage of in-state students at URI has shrunk steadily over the last 10 years. New at 6, how the school has changed their recruiting style and how they're trying to get out-of-state graduates to establish roots in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now with what she's learned. A cornerstone of Governor Gina Raimondo's economic plan has been to battle the brain drain by attracting and keeping college graduates. But we've learned URI's approach to that problem has had to change quite a bit in recent years. Over the past decade, the percentage of in-state students at the University of Rhode Island has shrunk from 61% to 56%. I talked to Dr. Dean LaBeauty, the school's vice provost for enrollment management. He says the problem is simple. Every state in New England will be losing high school graduates over the next 15, 20 years. We checked with the Interstate Commission for Higher Education and found the number of Rhode Island high school graduates is down 15% from 10 years ago and is expected to drop even further. So to keep growing enrollment, URI has changed its recruiting approach. We have certainly worked on our efforts to enhance recruiting. Uh, you'll see us a little bit more in the Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and Maryland area that we haven't been in the past. Does URI accept more out-of-state students to help with the, the um, decrease in state funding that it gets? You know, to be honest with you, we accept all, any Rhode Islander who applies to the University of Rhode Island um, is admitted if we feel they can be successful. So it's not a decision of, to admit one over the other. LaBeauty tells me the school is highly aware of Rhode Island's need for young, college-educated residents and says URI has several programs aimed to keep out-of-state graduates here long term. We have over 9,000 students doing experiential education, internships, and volunteer work, and they're gaining experience in Rhode Island, and that's leading to employment in Rhode Island. We have over 4,000 engineering majors who graduated who are living in the Ocean State and nearby areas. Many of them 
came here to school from out of state and are staying here. URI also tells me they've expanded their recruiting of older Rhode Islanders. Right now, there are about 120,000 adults in the state who started college but never completed their degree. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.